Some 84 hemodialysis patients received the $600,000 from the health ministry. This money is budgeted to subsidize their treatment cost. The first payout of more than $50 million commenced on Tuesday. Well, it's been a great help. You know, seven years of dialysis, the financial aspect of it is, is very demanding, you know. And as, as my colleague in, in, um, said earlier, you know, a lot of people think the dialysis is just going and have the treatment, but it's a lot of other things that related to it, you know. A lot of complications health-wise, you know, people with eyes, bones, and all these things cause extra financial um, assistance. Apart from that, your diet you have to maintain, you know, transportation. So this, this is it's a great help. Well, the government assistance is a great thing for me. It has it certainly goes a far way in helping me with my dialysis-related expenses. Some people believe that dialysis expenses is just paying for the dialysis. But then you have to get to and from dialysis. You have nutrition and so on, something that we can hardly afford. So this assistance goes a very far away in assisting us with those related expenses. It's very good and thank you very much for the little bit of assistance because it's hard because we're done to start with $15,000 each time, each time you have to go there. Right, it's two times, two times a week. So, I still thank you, the government, for the limited assistance. Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony is encouraging patients who are in need of dialysis to get registered. This is going to continue throughout the year, and I want to encourage all persons who require um, dialysis treatment to come to the ministry, enroll in the program so that we can give you the assistance. Government in its 2023 national budget allocated a sum of $863 million to assist patients in need of dialysis.